God really inspires that one. Well, 2012, one of my boss, Dr. Tony Alabi, he called me, he said, Nicola, what do you know about part of school children? I was just like, part of school children? I don't really know much about it. He said, go back to your office and work on part of school children. Then, I worked on it for like two weeks. I didn't get it right. I found out that we have millions of out of school children in Nigeria. Since then, I make up my mind that hmm, Nicola, you have a lot of work on your neck to pick up out of school children. So since 2012, I've been having the dream of having a foundation. Then this year, it come up and I blessed God. So then why do you choose to distribute a lot of bags, everything, schools that can just yesterday like that? What happened was that um September I came down to Odebo. I found out that some of the poor people in the school did not have school bags. I noticed they were carrying lilon and I didn't really feel good about it and I make up my mind that I have to work on it. All right. So tell us, tell us about yourself. Okay. As the Lori, I can't remember the. <laughs> my name is Lori. I have a color me. I can't remember the. I got married to Obari first. Oluwaga. Then we are blessed with from my home side. We are blessed with four kids, triplets, and a wanguwa. Then I work with Universal Basic Education. In, in the seed of Ayin Foundation. Alright, so tell us about Ayin Foundation. When did you start it? And then what do you have in mind for the foundation? Okay, this uh, Ayin Foundation, we launched in February when I clocked 14 this year. Then we, our major work is to pick out of school children, to empower widows, to help those needies. Then to give back to our community, to give back to my husband's kingdom, so that we're able to support my husband, which is going to be Thank you so much. Thank you.